Shaliyam, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to Girl Ahavaya, also known as Juliet. Uh, so today we'll be spending some time with family and um, I thought that maybe I should bring some of my plants along to share with them. So I'll be picking a few of them to bring with me and um, I'll be potting up some spider plants to take along with me as well. Um, as I have plenty of pups on my mother plant up there and um, yeah I mean it's a plant that keeps giving so um, why not share it all right so let's get into the video so the first plant that I'll be giving away is this uh, Chinese evergreen uh, my silver bay aglaonema and um, this plant has been with me for a couple of years now I believe um, maybe even three years when I first purchased it it was in a pot with two plants okay and so this is the top of one of the plants that I cut up um, I decided I wanted to try and pop propagate it because it was growing a little funky um, but it was the this one here which is the top of one of the plants and and this one this was the other plant that it came with and so it was growing sideways so it was like this and then the other plant was growing out on the side like this and I separated it the two and cut off the top of the other one and um yeah so this is what the other pot is looking like um I found this pup growing off the side a little while ago Just yesterday I noticed something special. So here is my Chinese evergreen, um, my silver bay, aglaonema. You guys see this on the side over here? Look at that. This right here. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So I saw this yesterday and I'm so excited about it. It's now grown a lot, um, but this is a new plant that I'll have now. Um, and uh, so it's, it's a beautiful plant. I want to share it because I know I have more. Um, I'll be able to separate this off into its own plant later on when, when it establishes itself a little bit more. And the other part, of the plant that I'll be giving away is this which is the base so this is the base of this plant over here there was another part of it there was a middle part to it that I cut off to propagate to test out a little bit but that one took forever to grow and then it started to rot the stem started to rot so I got rid of it but um, this is the base of the, pot, the plant I'm going to be giving away. And this one also has now um, a new plant going off the side of it. So altogether, after I get rid of that one, I'll have three plants uh, potentially that uh, will be growing into mature plants. All right, so I'll be giving this away. I think I'll be giving this to my dad. All right. All right, so I also have this um, Monstera adansonii that I'll be sharing with family today. Um, this plant, is this a mushroom? Oh my gosh, another mushroom. <laughs> I think I found another mushroom here, but that's okay. Um, what I'll be doing with this is that I'll be repotting it into a bigger pot. So I have another uh, batch of um, Monstera adansonii that I have here um, in propagation and they have now rooted. And so I'll be potting these up as well and I'll be giving this away also. All right, so they're about one, two, five, six, 
nine leaves in here so um or nine cuttings so that should make for a nice and full pot okay so i'll be giving this away and i also have another batch of propagations here this was actually or this is actually um well now it looks like it's a jade pothos because all the variegation on this marble queen pothos have disappeared um they're fully green now they're all fully green but they didn't get enough sun and this is why all the white marble pattern is gone and has disappeared but this is now a jade uh pothos and i'll be giving this away as well so i'll be potting this in a small pot as well and giving that away all right and and this is another pothos pot that i'll be i think i'm going to leave this in this particular pot here and give this away but this one is a mar marble queen pothos most of the leaves still have the var variegation on them but um yeah it's a pretty one i'll be giving this away as well okay and then last but not least i have this beautiful uh spider plant pups um or these pups i should say i'm going to find the one with the, the best um uh, roots on it that have grown out and cut them off and pot them up so I think I'm going to cut about two or three of them pot them up and give those away as well this one seems to have two plants growing out of the one um, I don't know stem you could say but I'll cut this one off at the end okay so here it is it has seems to have two plants one here and one here and beautiful roots growing from it so that's not going to take too long to root or get longer and establish itself okay so that's one We'll take this one here. Also, same situation as the other one I just cut off. That's so pretty. Look at that curly leaf. Very nice. Okay, so we're just going to pot these up. this video I was preparing to attend a family gathering we were gathering in remembrance of my eldest brother David who passed away suddenly from illness a little over a year ago when he passed he was on a trip in Ghana and he was far from us but thankfully he wasn't alone I also experienced the passing of a nephew on the other side of my family Overall, it's been a really, really hard um, year for us, but we're taking it one day at a time. It's a crazy experience when death hits close to home. There are so many emotions involved in the grieving process, which involves many steps. But sadness, anger, and regret are just a few, and it sometimes can get very overwhelming. As I mentioned, grieving is a process and it can last for several years, but I believe that there are certain actions or steps to take in order to be able to grieve in a healthy manner, which will help you move on from the loss. Not forget about your loved one, I'd never say that, but 
move on in a way that allows you to function in your daily life, all while still keeping the memory of that loved one alive. I think it's important to acknowledge feelings and emotions when they arise. For me, shutting them in only made me feel worse. The only thing that I avoid is staying or wallowing in that feeling or emotion because doing so will only allow the darkness to enter and grow into something that I may not be able to control. Another tip that I could offer to anyone that's grieving is to forgive. Forgive, forgive, forgive. Forgive yourself for any regrets that you may have, the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, and forgive anyone who you may hold any type of resentment towards. And sometimes that includes that loved one that passed away. You may have to forgive that person as well too for any choices that they may have made. Forgiveness allows you to let go of excess and unnecessary baggage and doing so will in turn allow you to heal. It also is what we are called to do as children of the Most High for those of you who believe in a higher power, in the higher power, especially if we want the Most High to forgive us of our transgressions. Luke 6, 37 says, Judge not and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Also, remember to put your trust in the Most High and to also count your blessings. Remember that nothing happens unless He allows it. He always comes through and provides us with all that we need. We just gotta make sure to do right by Him and by others around us. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 says, Cast all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Remember that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. That's Psalm 30 verse 5. Sharing plants has become my new thing as of late. I truly enjoy sharing my plants with my family and friends. Plants give me so much joy. I enjoy caring for them. I enjoy looking at them. They help me to relieve a lot of stress when I'm under pressure. They're just very therapeutic. They've been very therapeutic for me. And so when I share my plants with my family and my friends, it's to show that I care, it's to show that I'm thinking about you, it's to show that you are loved, and it's also my way of giving you hope as well. And so if I share my plans with you, it means that you are very special and very dear to me. Don't forget to tell the ones that you care about how much you love them. Give them lots of hugs and spend as much time as you can with them. David and Akeem, rest in peace. I've been sharing plants with my dad for a few years now, and recently I found out that my other brother also enjoys caring for plants, and he's doing a great job at that. He has several plants in his home, including a pothos, a defenbachia, and a snake plant. He also has a Norfolk pine, which is one of my wishlist plants. It's an evergreen and they can get pretty big out in nature, but as a house plant, you can manage its size by pruning it. There's something about those fluffy looking branches that makes me want to own one, and one day I will. Back to my dad. I've shared a few plants with him. I've given him some pothos, my big pot of snake plant, and a couple other plants whose name I can't remember at the moment. My dad used to be a horticulturalist back in the day, and he loves plants just as much as I do. 
I believe my love for plants came from him. <laughs> I remember my dad would always keep an outdoor garden whenever and wherever possible. Looking back at some pictures from my childhood, I noticed all the different pots of plants that were captured in them, and it makes me smile. When my parents come over, my dad and I always engage in plant talk. It's our way of bonding. I love it when he goes around naming my plants, as if trying to test his memory from when he used to work with plants. Anyways, I love that I could connect with him that way, and I'm sure he feels the same way. At this point in my plant parent journey, I have many plants that literally keep giving. Plants like all my pothos, my big pot of Monstera adansonii, and even my ficus elasticus and syndapsis exotica have grown so much that I would literally have plants everywhere if I were to propagate them all. I'm thinking I have to start selling some propagation soon in addition to sharing my plants with my family and friends. My YouTube journey is coming along nicely. It's been a little tough staying consistent with the posting of videos, but I'm doing what I can. I started my channel because I wanted to share my plant journey with everyone who may be interested. Monetizing would be an added bonus, of course, but for now, I'm enjoying creating videos and sharing my plant journey with you all. I don't claim to be a botanist, a horticulturalist, or an expert in plant care. <laughs> Not at all. I just love plants and enjoy having lots of them around me. I'm fine with showing you guys where I've failed in caring for my plants, alongside all my wins, because plants die also and it's okay. We learn what not to do as we learn from our life experiences and we move on and push forward. At this point, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my subscribers and all those who take the time to watch, like, and share my videos. I appreciate you all so much. If you've watched this video this far and are enjoying my content and are not subscribed, please consider subscribing and joining the family. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Well, here are all the plants that I'll be sharing with my family, and they're looking so pretty. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching once again. Take care. <laughs>